a debt deal with time running out to prevent a government default. Tonight, Valley congressmen are also on opposing sides of the debate. Action Force, Katie Lopez live in our Hidalgo County newsroom with more details for us. Hi, Katie. Democratic Congressman Ruben Hinojosa and Henry Cuellar are pitted against Republican Blake Farenhold. Today, Farenhold spoke out for the first time. All three congressmen say their D.C. offices have been inundated with calls from their constituents. Regardless of their stance on the debt ceiling, they say all the constituents want is for both parties to come to a conclusion before the August 2nd deadline. A vote on Boehner's plan, which calls for spending cuts and temporarily raising the debt ceiling, was delayed today in the House. He had to modify his original plan to make even deeper cuts to social programs. Congressman Blake Farenthold says he's on board with that plan. I've moved from lean no to undecided to uh, lean yes. I will vote against the Republican plan because of the severe cuts to the vital programs that are so essential to Americans such as Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. In the over 100 calls Congressman Hinojosa says he received, Obama's plan came out on top, but only by 5%. He says no matter which plan his constituents are rooting for, none want to see cuts to important programs like Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid. Now tonight on Action 4 News at 10, we'll talk about the local impact and what a default could mean for you right here in the Valley. Live in our Hidalgo County Newsroom, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News. Thanks, Katie. If you want to call your congressman, we've posted all of their contact information on valleycentral.com. Just click on the story link.